Oh, by mistake instead of leave meeting, I have given an end meeting. So it has got ended actually. It's okay. <clears throat> so let me go on and share my screen. So I'm going to go there and then I will now save this file actually. Mission Korean PDH, Mission Korean PDH, and then classroom records when you put on the game. So, tip is 51. I'm like I'm not blaming it. It's 51. Fine. Enterprise structure creation 3. Yes. The problem. Now we'll now go to the invoice workbench and then query for the invoice. Now click on it. Then query for the invoice. Click on it. Now go there. Go to the manage invoices. You go to the manage invoice and then query for the invoice. Now click on it. The supplier or party is what T01 and then give it a tab. So this is sufficient and then click on search. Then click on search, you'll now find the invoice. For the past three days, we can even say how many year, days back you can see you now find three days and then give it over. So it will not show all the invoices for the past year. So 2000 is the number actually. Invoice number everything is there, validated, but approval is not required. We can even uh, bypass the query. Now, you click on it, automatically, you can even see all the details. Now, what happens? I'm going to enable the pay on receipt now. So, the moment you make a payment, what happens? We can very well uh, create the invoice automatically. The pay on receipt now. I will now go to the right click and then duplicate now. Fine, you know, enable the pay on receipt. So, go there, click on it. I will now go to what the procurement now. Fine. I go to the procurement. The procurement is there in the beginning, it seems. I go to the procurement. Procurement is there. I will now go to the suppliers and then enable the pay on receipt. So pay on receipt is the one upon payment. What happens? We can create our own invoice on behalf of supplier actually. Then click on it. I will now go to the manage suppliers. You go to the manage suppliers, you go there, click on it. So it's what it is the T01 of the one thing, click on search. Then you know search for it. You will click on search. Right? Click on the hyperlink of it now. And then go to the sites. And then here you go to the purchasing tab and click on it. You know, go to the break edit mode. The sites I'm bringing to the edit mode. And then I go to the purchasing aid. So here I'm now enabling the pay on the zip. Fine. Pay on the zip is now getting enabled actually. And then uh in the consign in the self billing, so here invoice summary level is what I will now say receipt. So receipt is the invoice summary level. So this receipt number GRN number will be coming on the invoice automatically. Right? The GRN number will be coming on the invoice automatically. So invoice summary level is receipt. Now find that what no done. So invoice summary level is receipt. I go that one, and then we are now giving a save and close. Yeah. So we are now saying what pay on receipt is enabled, and then it is now receipt summary now. So click on save and close. Now, what happens? We go there. We will now duplicate this one. I will now right click and then duplicate. We go there. Are you all able to hear me? Right? Is my voice clear? Anybody can say yes to me. Hello. <clears throat> Is my voice yes, clear? Yes, ma'am. Let me query my 2000 invoice and then I will now duplicate the supply. Click on it. So click on the manage orders. Let me query. Query the 2000. So the order number is 2000. Fine. Click on search. Fine. Click on search. It will be coming. I will now duplicate it. Select it and then actions duplicate. So we are going to duplicate it. Actually. Actions duplicate is what? Is a repeat purchase order. Actually. We are now going to make a repeat purchase order. In which what happens? The pay on receipt, I am going to enable it. And previously what happens is the previous one, this may not be possible to enable it all because it's not enabled. Now only it's enabled. Fine. Okay. So pay on receipt is enabled and then it will now submit for approval. Fine. Everything is same actually. So click on submit. So we are now submitting it. This is called ERS. Right? ERS. The document was submitted for approval. So what we will do is we will now right click on the duplicate. We will now set up the ERS profiles basically. And we will now go to the, go to the setup and maintenance. And then we will now set up the ERS profiles. That is we are now working for Tata. So now what happens? We go there, click on it. We'll now go to the setup search and then what happens? We'll now go to the manage receiving profiles. We'll now go to the manage receiving profiles. Fine with that. So manage receiving profile options. You go there. So we'll be having one profile for ERS actually. 
ಹೋಗೋದಾರ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಇ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಫೈಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ನಾವು ಹೋಗೋದಾರ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ನೋ ಸೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಟಾಟಾ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಾವು ನೋ ಸೈ ಟಾಟಾ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಕೋ so we are now creating what happens you are implementing it for tata so whenever you are creating a automatic invoice what happens the tata will be a prefix for you the tata will be prefix so we can set up anything what are the implementing company's name you normally set up as a ers prefix actually so this is called a ers evaluated receipt settlement ers means what evaluated receipt settlement the ers prefix has been set so click on save and close no that now what happens we go there we will now make a receipt now actually what We'll not go there. We'll not click on that. No, fine. We'll not do that. So we'll not go there and then make a receipt for the 2001. No, fine. Go to the place. Go to the go to the what's called invoice manage orders. No, fine. Click on it. I will not say 2000 and then what are the click on 200. I will not make a search. 2000 and 2001 has to come. Both numbers have to come. So 2001 is also open actually. We'll not go there. We'll not receive it. No, fine. Click on it. We'll not click on the star icon. You go to the inventory overview. From there, we will not receive 2001. Remember, here ERS is enabled. No, fine. Click on it. monitor so go to the inventory and then go to the reception and then click on the receive expected shipments for 2001 now and then click on search now click on search be getting it now and then click on receive i will now receive 20 quantities now you must enter select the line and then click on receive i will now make what 20 quantities so if you click on the show receive quantity it will not show 100 quantities i will now receive only 20 quantities so for which order we go there and then click on the create receipt you are now going to create receipt so a rear number so go that you know shipment number is what blah 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 packing slip number is blah 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 shipping method drop it down if there is anything sir fine it will be coming it's not coming number of packing units is four you fill up everything so that it will be giving a lot of value addition for the inventory people like mm-hmm. bill of lading number everything is there note is what jingi check on you give everything and that one happens the click on submit by which what happens once when you create a grn for 20 quantities you be having it from the po number is done and the grn number will be coming click on the mm-hmm. so it will be having a prefix of tata and then the grn number is 3002 remember and then the purchase order number is 2001 so now we will not do a put away now fine click on that we will not perform a put away click on we will not perform a put away we will not go to the pm put away no put away so go there 3002 is the grn number for which what happens you are going to perform a put away select and then click on put away you know putting away so go there so click on submit by which what happens the sub inventory we had to specify and okay we want to submit submit and then click on submit by which what happens the put away transactions now getting completed actually you know completing now we will not push it into payables now fine click on we have to push into payables fine over so go there you will now go to what click on this now fine go to the tools and then go to the scheduled process you go to the tools you go to the tools now fine go to the tools mm-hmm. you go to the tools and then go to the scheduled process and then here what happens we are going to what happens do the send pay the send pay fine send pay will now push all the data all the receipt data whichever is enabled for ers will be sent to the payables now fine now send pay on receipt <coughs> and the transaction source is what evaluated receipt settlement we have one concept for what advanced shipping and billing notice that will be taught in the financial training fine it is called advanced shipping and billing notice and that will be now then go to the evaluated receipt settlement and then go there and then receipt number is what 3002 3002 the one aging period fine the one the child dog fine one choose and then aging period is zero actually fine that means what it will not give it if you give a aging period of one day then after one day only it will not create the invoice if you give a zero it will be creating immediately actually so click on submit so it is called er as invoice it will be getting created automatically on the system fine click on submit it will now what happens is push it first of all into the interface tables of payables and then finally bring it to the base tables actually. send pay on this is now going to push it to the interface tables of payables and then what happens the import process is going to be triggered now automatically so you can see it's not running so the import of the invoice is the import payables invoice is not on so this has succeeded to pushing it to the interface tables and then this is now going to pull it into the base tables <coughs> import payables invoice is now going to what pull it into the base tables actually it will be pulling it to the base tables so we have a grn number of 3002 fine for that it is what it is it will be pulling into the base tables so the invoice fine now the report is running the report will tell you about how the invoice has succeeded the payable invoice is now completed now report is in a wait state so once in the report is basically a publishable one so we can very well publish and then have all over it thank you for that 
are not going to have a look at it. Report is very much publishable. <laughs> so click on it. So click on it, and then we can very well republish it actually. The bottom one of the output, we can click on the republish actually. So this is a report. So click on the republish, and click on republish as a PDF file. So click on the wheel icon, export to PDF. Click export to PDF, we are not going to export it to PDF. So click on it, it will not show you the invoice number. You can now see Tata underscore GRN number and then a running number. The running number also can be found. But many companies will not use the GRN number of the invoice. Right? They will not use a packing slip on the invoice. That is the usual way. Many companies, whatever packing slip has come from the supplier, that will be paid. So on seeing the invoice number itself, we can say which packing number is paid, which is not paid. Actually. So they won't, they won't make it as a result. Actually. Many, many companies in Gulf will be using as what? As a packing slip, as an invoice number. Actually. The data is coming back. So we will not make it as a packing slip. We will not go to the supplier. Click on it. I will not what click on what happens. Click on it. Click on it. They are going to edit the sites. So this is a usual way. Right? The purchasing, what happens. It will not be summary level is not a result. Right? It is a packing slip. Actually. This is the way they use it. Many a company will be using the packing slip as a summary level. So that what happens. Which packing slip is paid. Which is not paid. They can very well understand it. Packing slip, right? so packing slip is the one. So invoice or little packing slip, fine. So click on save and close. Now let us know receive thirty quantities again the same one. So go there. You will not make a receipt. Now go there. Click on manage order. Go there. So go to amount. I will not right click on the duplicate. Let us not make a receipt. We are going to make a receipt for the same two thousand one actually. So click on it for thirty quantities. So twenty quantities is already done. You will not go to the what? You will not go to the inventory overview and then make a receipt for thirty quantities. Clear any doubts? Anybody has got doubt? Go there. Click on receive expected shipments for 2001 P. So this is how many companies operate now. So now you can see what happens. 80 quantities now balance fine. Select it and then click on receive. This time I'm going to receive 30 quantities. So I'll not put 30 quantities over there. 30 quantities I'm going to receive. So click on receive. This time what happens? I'm going to put the packing slip. So this is the way people monitor about which packing slip is paid, which is not paid. Now. Packing slip and not putting up. So pack underscore 123 is the number. So whatever the real number which has been given by the supplier, that will be put over here while receiving it actually. So they can very well monitor which is paid, which is not paid actually. Clear? Somebody can say yes to me. Hello? <clears throat> yes, Nana. So in general, this packing slip number is provided by the supplier only, right? Yeah, yeah. Supplier is provided. Supplier okay. is providing this packing slip number. So that will be put during receipt actually. So the summary level okay. is packing slip and not the GRN number actually. Not the result. Actually. Many companies operate like this. I click on submit now. Right? Now the pack one two three is now made. Right? So it will be Tata underscore pack underscore one two three underscore a running number. So click on submit. It is for thirty quantities. Right? Three thousand three GRR is now created. Right? Click on now. Let me deliver it also. Right? Go that one. Will not go that click on it. You will not go to what put away of three thousand three result. Right? Click on it. Will not go to the place. Result number is what three thousand three. Right? Go that one. Will not click on search. Not doing it. So select the click on put away and we'll put away. Select it. Then here what I click on submit. So by which order when the put away transactions now very much enter submit material and put that So now it is now received and delivered. Now we can very well push it into the payable section. We'll not go to the monitor process and go that not. So go that I will not want to schedule new process. So click on it. Go there. So the transaction source is what ERS fine. The result number is what? 3002, thank you, but I have now. So there are so, so many 3002s are there. Choose yours now. For your child, you can choose it. Click on it now. Choose yours. And then go there. It's not it's selected, Nana. It's not selected. Thank you, but I have now. 3000. Transaction source is not selected. Oh, 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 oh. transaction source is not selected. So go there to what? I will not say transaction source is what? ERS. Thank you. So it's what is now this will be pushed into the interface tables of payments and then later on pulled into the base tables of right? payments. So the import fine go there. No, no. Send pay on send pay will not push it into the what happens the interface tables. And then finally, what happens the import invoice will not bring it to the base tables. What happens? Send pay on the book, fine, go there. It has not run the import payables. No, thank you. Why it has not run the import payables actually? 3002 is the one. No, fine. Let's choose one. Click on submit new process. 
send pay on Egypt. Is there any mistake on this number? Bank account? It will be evaluated in Egypt settlement. Egypt number is 3002. And what happened? I'm not using the child fund. So aging period is zero only. And click on submit. It has to trigger the import also. And click on submit. It has to trigger an import. It is now coming as a weight now. I mean, 065 is a weight. 065 has got completed. But what happens? It is not triggering the import at all. I don't know why it's so. I will do one thing. I will now log out and log in and then make a check. Sometimes what happens? They don't give a problem. I don't know if I Close the other ones. Invoice, workbench, and closing in the Put away the zips also. Close the other go there and see this. Go there and take on it. Now, inventory overview. So here, we will not make a result. We will not go for 15 bonds. Go to the results. Click on receive expected shipments on 2001, actually. 2001. And click on search. Select it and click on receive now. 50 is now balance actually. 15 quantities I will now put now. Click on 15 quantities. And click on pick zip. So this time I will now give a different packing number actually. Supplier has given a packing number. So it was in previously 1, 2, 3. Now I will now give you 4, 5, 6 actually. For 15 quantities. Packing slip number is what? Pack underscore 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6 is the one. So click on submit. Now click on submit. I'm not submitting it. So 3004 is the GRN number. So that will not be coming on the invoice numbering. The pack underscore 456 will be coming. And go that click on it. Will not what happens. Do the put away. Right? Click on the put away. So 3004 is the GRN number. And go that. So click on search and find click on search. And select and click on put away. You're not putting it up. So sub inventory is a mandatory one. Find go that not. Put the sub inventory away. And then click on submit. Now find click on submit. So once when you submit it, what happens? It will be getting submitted. So your put away transaction was created now. I will go there. I will now right click and then duplicate, and then I will now run the what's called send pay now. So click on the star, and then I go to the monitor process. Now I am going to go to the tools, go to the tools, and then go to the scheduled process. I will now give a send pay. Now. Click on it. I will now give a send pay. Now. Send pay on the zip fine for that to work. So 3004 is the GRN number. Evaluate is no. So 3004. So there is only one. There is nothing there. Fine, it's okay. So okay, fine. everything is there. My evaluate is 3004. Fine. Click on the So this time it has to trigger the import payables. Send pay on the zip. You are ready. It has to give up because now it's figuring actually. Import payables invoice coming. So in the meantime, what I'm right click on the duplicate, we can now see all the invoices which is there actually. So if you go to the payables, no fine, go to the payables and then how to it, no fine. We'll now see both the invoices will be available. You go to the payables and then go to the invoice workbench, no fine, click on it. And then I will now query the manage invoices, fine, click on it. You know how to the manage invoices. You go to the manage invoices from here also. I can very well see the report also will be coming. I will now say T01 is the one time give a tap. So click on search, you will now see both the ERS invoices will be available. Click on board. You can see both the ERS invoices. So Tata pack underscore four five six is coming. Previously, what happens is the GRN number is coming. But this running number also can be set. You can talk to K payables and then they will tell you what how to do it. Now, the last topic of this session is what? Debit memo on RTS actually. Here also, what happens if you see this, what happens? There will be a report. The report also can very well publish in this. Report also can be published. Go there, go to the report, and then go there, and then republish it. And click on republish it. And see. So click on it, export to PDF, and then you can all see also. There also you can see it. It will not show you the 456 in the So this is a usual way of what happens. Numbering the invoice, the packing slip will be part of the numbering so that they can now see which packing slip is paid, which is not paid. They can very well take a report actually.
Now, the debit memo on RTS, if a, if a particular what happens, the quantity is not defective. So we will now reduce the liability of ours. Our, our liability will be reduced. That is called debit. But many suppliers will not agree for it. I will not send my man to your place and then we will not rectify the problem. Why oh, you are reducing my payment actually? You will not shout actually. <laughs> I have done it and then I got a shouting from the suppliers actually. So uh, reducing the suppliers, our liability is really what happens is really a very tough one. Go to the procurement. I will not go to the suppliers. No, fine. Let me go to the suppliers. So go there, click on it. And then here, what happens? You go to the managed suppliers. Click on it. Click on the managed suppliers. Not import suppliers. Sorry. Click on not, not import suppliers. You will not go to what? Managed suppliers. Managed suppliers are one. Click on it. Go there. Query for the T01. No, find T01. And then click on search. No, find click on search. And then click on the hyperlink of it. And then now go to the sites. No, find click on the sites. Go to the sites. And then here, you will not go on the, Click on the hyperlink on the site. One. Now you go to the uh, purchasing, and go to the purchasing. You will now enable the debit number. But you will now normally do it only for a new supplier, not for the experienced supplier. There is a create debit memo from return actual. This will now reduce our liability immediately. And supplier will not shout on it. The supplier, the outstanding will be coming down like everything. So go there. create debit memo from return. When you are performing a return, what happens? It will be creating a debit memo automatically. So go there. So go there. Click on save and close. Now, what happens? We will now go there. We have a 3004 GRN for which what happens? We will now create a return. You go there. I will now right click and then duplicate. We will now make a return. For the 3004 GRN, we are going to make it. Click on it. I will now click on the star icon. I go to the inventory overview. I go to the inventory overview. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will now go on that. Do the return now. Fine. The return receipts now. Fine. Click on the return receipts. I will now choose the 3004 GRN number. 3004 GRN number. And then click on search. I'm searching for it. Now 15 quantities are delivered. I have now written two quantities. I click on it. Two are defective. I click on return. So since it has been enabled on the supplier, the debit memo is coming automatically over here. Two quantities. But during this return, we can even remove this debit memo. If you want, you can do it. I will now say RMA number. I will now say RMA number score. One, two, three. And the reason for the return also you can populate on the reason transactions reasons no fine with that. So I think we have created one transaction reason no fine with that T01. We created one transaction reason. One T01 damage is there. So create in this. So why it is returning? Fine, you can also populate the return actually. Now the system will be creating a debit memo automatically. There is no need for you to run any ESS job at all. Previously, what happens is send pay we used to run. Here there is no need at all. Because our liability is getting reduced means what? It will now get updated automatically on the payables. And two it will be getting automatically updated on the payables as what? As a debit memo. But if you do like this, the supplier will show that. When the payables man wants to make a payment, he will now see how many we have to pay, how many is returned. He will now make a net payment only. So at the time, he will now say, sir, two are returned, and then the payment is no <laughs> He will now come up and shout on us now. Why you are reducing our payment? Fine, that way it will now now, if you go there, no need to run any concurrent wrong fine. Go there. You'll now go to the what? Invoice over you. Invoice over bench. And then go and then go to the manage. You'll now go to the manage, so go to the manage invoices. And then how I'll put it. I will now put the supplier over here. Fine. T01. And then go there. Supplier. Fine. Click on search. You'll now see. You have minus 20 quantities. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Your invoice. The debit mode have been created. That is called 2000. The start number also can be controlled actually. Where is it? Yeah. This one. Sorry. The 3004 is the GRN number or the running number actually. It's a GRN number of IFA number. So it's minus 20 is the debit memo. Actually. A debit memo will now reduce our liability. And then what happens? The payables clerk will now make a payment only for the net net due actually. All the payments minus debit memo we will now make a payment. So at that time only the supplier will understand, oh God, this guy has reduced the payment actually. <laughs> Fine. All the running numbers, uh, the payables team will not teach you. Fine, someone one zero four these numbers and all they will teach you about how to set it up actually in the system. So this completes what your overview into what happens the procure to pay process actually, with which we wind up this training program. Nana, one question: Sorry. If we don't create debit memo, then it's just reducing inventory. Yeah, and then whatever we, we have can... to manually create the debit. The debit memo has to be manually created if you want. Right. Reduce, inventory is reduced. Now we created invoice. Repair it and then we will again receive it back. It will be sent back to the supplier. <laughs> yeah. 
if you want to create a debit memo later, we can also manually create it. Or otherwise, leave it for the supplier to repair and then send it back to you. Any other questions? So in this case, our inventory on hand is increased, right? With the... yeah, yeah. No, inventory on hand will now decrease. Actually. Decrease. And you are sending it back, whatever. Oh, decrease, right, right. Yeah, we have returned that. So it, it might have decreased already, right, uh, Nana? Yeah, yeah, it will decrease. Inventory will decrease. Actually. Because there's no reduce, no fine. Inventory will decrease. Rajesh, what is your question? I'm unable to understand. You put a message in the chat, actually. Oh, I think he is having a problem on the mic, I think. That's why he is not speaking it, actually. Rajesh, no, no, Nana, I think he said when we were not getting that uh, receipt, he just said that number is decreased. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I was running for 3003 and not 3004 actually. Okay, whatever it is. So now the debit memo is not validated actually. So you have to only go there and then validate it actually. If you click on it, put up and you have to go there and then validate. Not validate. Actions and then go to validate. Not validate. So it is not a validated invoice. Whereas the other ones are validated. If you go on and see done, right? when it creates a normal invoice, they are all validated actually. You go there, go to the manual invoices. But debit memo is not valid, right? You go like what happened. Click on search now. You can see the packing slip invoice. Click on it. So that is coming as a validated invoice. Click on it. Oh, it is also not validated. Oh, God. It is also not validated. We can even automate it, actually. I don't know how to do it. Man, talk to the tables. We can even auto automate the validation, actually. Only after validation, we can account it and then you are not doing it. Man, you will not pay uh, in the po account. Post ledger will not account it, actually. It will be accounting it. Post ledger will be accounting it. So the accounting has been completed. And then all these things we can very well automate it. And payment also can be automated. There are so many things that are in payables. I hope that I have given a reasonable amount of input to you. <clears throat> yes, Nana. Yes, Nana. Thank you. We want to hear your voice again. So let me know <laughs> once again. I keep asking you. <laughs> Maybe know. six months later. Or maybe four months later. Right. There is no such fixed plans and all. Man. It may be anything. <laughs> uh -huh. It all depends upon me. Yeah, Nana, plan one procurement training. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm also asking. Procurement <laughs> is so big now. Man. It takes yeah. more than three to three and a half months actually. Man. Because so many questions yeah. will be coming and then yeah. it will be getting delayed like anything. It will be just wrong. It is not a small yeah. point. Six pillars are there. Now, man. It takes a lo pretty long time actually. Put our request to auntie. Uh, um. <laughs> she has already told me this three months training and all. Please avoid. Man, she has already told me. No, no. <laughs> Maybe you can do one and a half months, take a uh, break, and then come back. See, last time I took two breaks. The people were shouting like, uh -huh. "We are having a really week weekend training, and then you are not taking two breaks." No, fine. It's too much of a what happens a waste of time basically. <laughs> so I don't know what to answer for them. No, fine. Really, very difficult actually. You can take break, and during the break, we can at least do some practice, Nana. <laughs> okay, then yeah. And with this, what happens? I wind up this uh, training session actually. Yeah. Right? So you yeah, yeah. practice. Your instances will be available on the past students group. From there, what happens? You can very well see this. Uh, I, I need you, to Nana. download the documents, Thank you, Nana. Nana. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. And then try to download everything before 31st of July. Uh, mm -hmm. What happens? It'll, you have to pay an excess additional amount for accessing the drive. Actually. Up to sure, 31st Nana. of July, sure. it's all free. You. Afterwards, what happens? You have to pay money. Bye for now. <laughs> sure. Thank you so much, Thank Nana. You, Nana. Thank, Thank you, Nana. Bye-bye, Nana. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.